Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. This time, yeah, New Zealand thing, huge kind of puffball. Now you can spot edible puffballs because they're white inside like a marshmallow, like that. All the non-edible ones are either greenish or, or, or grey mush. And, um, yeah, going to eat well tonight. They, uh, they really don't keep, so when you've got them, uh, use them straight away. The bigger ones, you bread them up into fillets. Look at that. Nice and clear in the middle. Bye bye! As you see, nice and creamy on the inside, yeah. Um, so the big ones, you can cut them into fillets and, and bread them. Um, but uh, I haven't got time for all that, and as you heard, my niece is just buggering off for pizza. There's nobody else that's going to eat puffball. Anyway, more, more for me. Show you what they look like when I've cooked them. Feels a lot like slicing up marshmallows. The uh, skins can be a little tough on uh, young ones in particular for some reason. And also because I found them in an area liberally sprinkled with sheep shit, um, I'm going to peel the outside off. And then we're going to slice them up and do nothing more than saute them in some garlic butter. Now, like every other YouTube wannabe chef, I should try and eat something whilst staring directly into the camera so as not to look like a newbie. Yeah, hang on. Let's try this. Mmm. You don't need to worry about killing off the flavour of the mushroom with garlic. These are possibly one of the more mushroomy flavoured mushrooms. Mm. They're easily recognised because nothing else grows that big. And they've got no structure inside them at all. It just looks like white marshmallow. If it's any other colour, biff it. It's that simple. Mm. Lovely. I might turn some of the others into breaded fillets after all. Mm. Anyway. He says rudely with his mouthful. I'll take this opportunity to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a much happier New Year than we've had uh, last time. But for now, that's your lot. Down on Kiko Farm.